Breaking right now at 5, Sherwood schools will be back in session tomorrow after a scare shut down the entire district. An overnight tip to an FBI hotline was so concerning, today's classes were canceled. It was a tip police investigated and determined was bogus. A student submitted an anonymous tip to the National FBI tip line with information that there may be one or more additional students involved. The tip prompted the school closure today as a safety precaution while Shorewood uh, Police Department investigated the tip. That tip came hours after Shorewood investigated a hit list written by a student. The district says that 14-year-old student also brought a magazine of ammunition to school. Bullets, but no gun. At no time was the firearm possessed by the student on or near school grounds. Additionally, a thorough sweep of the Shorewood High School resulted in no discovery of any weapons of any kind. While fears in the district did run high today, the superintendent believes the system worked and kept Shorewood students safe. We encourage our students to report concerns, um, so uh, we want to make sure that, um, that they um, continue, continue to do that. Uh, but we also want to be really clear that there was no weapons, um, that, that the student um, that the situation um, was, was involved with was one individual, um, and that there was no weapons on campus um, at any time. The district will have extra security for the rest of the week, a move that may help settle people's nerves including those who wound up on that hit list. Tony Atkins live now with the story of two sisters who were on it. Tony. That's right, Steve. Tonight I spoke with Tina King, who says not one, but two of her daughters were on that list. They were both here at Shorewood High School during uh, after school activities when the mother got the call. I immediately panicked like I was shaking because my kids at this point were still in Shorewood. Tina King still has a lot of concerns about her daughter's safety. Tuesday, she got a call learning two of them were named on a hit list by another Shorewood High School student. With school out on Wednesday, King still wonders about her daughter's safety. Before they um, even mentioned that the school would be um, closed today, I, I, I wanted to keep them home. I have other concerns about like how many people are involved, Again, we don't know who the child is. Despite being on the list, King says both of our students wanted to go to class. And I asked them, like, you know, do you guys want to go to school tomorrow? And they're like, yeah. A scary thought for this mom who is nervous about her daughter's eventual return to class. I'm sure I'm going to be on pins and needles when they do return to school, hopefully tomorrow. Um, but I'm just hoping that everything will be worked out beforehand. And in the past hour, we did learn that school officials here worked everything out. School classes will resume here in Sherwood schools starting tomorrow. We'll have more on that coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Sherwood, Tony Atkins, today's TMJ4. Tony, thank you. Continuing coverage of the investigation into the Sherwood school.